Hey, what's up? This is DJ Mac, and right now we're just going to go over how to connect Serato DJ with a Korg Vocal FM. Uh, and as we know, the Korg has the uh, click beat feature, so being able to receive MIDI, uh, we're going to use uh, Serato, like a Serato track and be able to uh, add something to it um, and keep the same speed with the, uh, with the Korg FM. This can be done pretty much with anything that receives MIDI. Um, so unfortunately, uh, Serato, just the program itself, that has no master clock really to actually send me. So we have to use a uh, kind of a middleman uh, app. So in this case, we're going to use uh, either uh, Tractor or Ableton. I'm actually going to use Ableton, but it can be used in both uh, applications. So um, one thing you have to make sure that you do have is um, the updated versions of everything so updated version of Serato, uh, DJ, um, Tractor or Ableton because all those uh, apps now they have the link feature so now you can be able to really connect them and send uh, like a MIDI uh, signal out so that they're running at the same speed alright and uh, also make sure your Wi-Fi is up and running because um, to be able to connect uh, typically is you have to have just a good Wi-Fi or you could just use an ad hoc um, but uh, just keep that in mind and last but not least just make sure you have your audio and MIDI cables plugged in correctly um, to your audio source and make sure your volume is up for your um, MIDI controllers alright so first things first let's open up our Ableton Live 9 and then you're gonna go up and see that the BPM is at 50.62 um, and we're going to make that match uh, the current track here. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that uh, if I press play here, right, I can see that I have a MIDI controller plugged in. Um, I just hit play and then it should automatically play my uh, MIDI controller. So I can hit stop there, and um, once that have, once it works there, then you know you're good to go. Everything is actually um, working fine. That means that there is a um, a connection between the Ableton Live and your uh, MIDI controller. If there isn't for some reason, just go to your preferences in, um, in Ableton Live, and um, once you're in there, you're gonna go into your MIDI link. Obviously, make sure the link is showing up here, right? And then you're gonna go over to MIDI ports. And for my, for instance, I'm using the Mio. Uh, that's the audio interface I'm using to connect the five-pin MIDI. And I just want to make sure everything is on there. Um, and same thing for my output. Um, typically, I just turn everything on so that nothing is off. There's no really excuse to why things are on or off, right? So next thing you want to do. I'm going to come out of uh, your preferences and now we're going to go over back to Serato and you're going to see the link button here okay so you turn on the link button now what it does is it's going to make this uh, Serato like the master deck in a sense so it's like the master program that's going to tell any other program that's linked like that's the speed that we're going to go so anything that changes um, that is, that's attached to it is going to change the speed okay so next thing you do is make sure you click the link on the actual track that you're playing. So the link is clicked here, and now you click the same link here. Now it will turn to 50 because it'll just bump up to the uh, the actual uh, speed of the track here that, that it has here. And now we're gonna go back to Ableton Live and just click link there. All right, and you see the same thing. It's at 50.62. Same thing here. It's 50.6. If we just you know went over a bit more, I'd say uh, 0.62, but they're both at the same speed, which is excellent. So that means if I were to play this track from the top, and you and see. It says, now the works of the flesh are manifest, meaning the things that are in the sinful nature. <laughs> Got my hands in the air, and the spirit don't shoot. I just want to do good. Uh. Pray your little cousin ain't fall from the place that you fall asleep across the top. Nigga ain't those, I 
Now, I'm gonna now start the, the track in Ableton. Alright, so now I'm going to actually change the speed of Serato, and you're going to notice the speed will change with the MIDI controller. Turn the volume down to see if it changes. It works. Okay. So, as you can see, now I'm able to use Ableton Live to be kind of that middleman app to bridge literally the gap just for MIDI controller wise uh, to be able to use any MIDI controller um, you know with a five pin and has a clip uh, clip beat so anything that has a five pin you can literally just have Serato um, link um, to Ableton and from Ableton tell the MIDI controller um, that's sending a signal from something. So as long as it's sending the signal from the master clock, and the master clock is uh, receiving a signal from Serato, which is uh, Ableton's uh, newer, uh, new master clock, it all just runs everything from Serato. So Serato tells everything else what to do. Ableton, your, your MIDI controller, it's all connected. Um, yeah, it's, it can get very, very interesting because you, know, you can change anything you want on your MIDI controller, change the sounds and, um, and different features on there, and really get creative. So I um, hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, just have fun. Have fun. Just like create new stuff. This is something I was just messing around with, and I figured, hey, now that I have the link feature, I can like, really, really mess around and get my hands dirty in terms of just connecting uh, you know, new features and making uh, different sounds. All right. So it's DJ Mac. I'm out of here. And like I said, go have fun. Peace.